Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part 9. This is a new exercise 8.4 from the same chapter. Calculate the interest and the amount in each of the following cases. So whatever is, uh, this is the table given, whatever is written in yellow, that is already given and this is the answer we have to find out. So directly we cannot find out, so I have done a rough work. So here is the rough work done. So now the principal, now let us see the A part. Principal is given, the rate of interest is given and time is given. And you have to find the interest and the amount. So now see here, we have the principal, the rate of interest and the time is given. So to find out the interest, we have the formula P into R into T by 100. So 2700 is given, 9 for this one and that for the time is 2 years divided by 100. So this and this gets cancelled. When you multiply this into this, you get 486. So can you see these things are given? So you can write here 486. Now we want the amount. Amount means the formula is P plus I. That is the principal plus interest. So principal is 2700. And now we can put this interest, whatever we got over here. So when you add it, you get rupees 3186. So we can write here 3186. Now same thing, we'll go with the second one. 10,005 and 4. So 10,005 and 4. The formula is the same. So this gets cancelled. When you multiply this, you get 2,000. So again, the formula for amount is principal plus interest. 10,000 is the principal. And 2,000 the interest what we got. That will be 12,000. So we can put these values over here. Now we will see for this one. So now this one, what we can see here is eight months. Usually, whenever we have this one, we calculate in whatever the, if it is years, this months or days, whatever it is, we'll, we'll see that how many years it is. So this can be because one year is 12 months. So we can put this one see here. One means we can write here 12 months is equal to one year. So eight is going to be eight months. Below this month is going to be year. So this is going to cross multiply. So this will go here and that this will go in the denominator. 8 by 12. Yes, this is already given. But still I, do, I showed you how to do it when it is from months to years. So now this 3 and half, we can also make this as mixed fraction. We can make it improper. That will be 6 plus 1. That will be 7 by 2. So same thing here. Principle is given. This I have given this 7 by 2. And this is 8 by 12 divided by 100. So 0 and 0 gets cut two zeros. So now we have will be 12, we can say here 2 1s are 2, 24 are 12 1s are 12, 2 are. So 12 and 12, sorry, the, this is 12. So this 12 and 12 gets cancelled. So here will be 7 8s are 56. So that will be the interest is 56. So amount is principal plus interest. So this will be principal is 2400 plus interest what we got this one. When we add it, it was going to be 2456. So this is very easy. Again, here the same. So after doing this, the formulas are going to be the same. This is 7.5. So now see here, D part also is same. Just you have to plug in the values and simplify it. So I think you don't need explanation for this one. Now uh, this one is 7.5. So again, here what we can do? This also we can put the same formula. Only be careful with the, because it's a decimal. When you're multiplying, be careful with that one. Rest all is the same. So I'm not giving you much of the explanation. You have to see these two formulas. Hope you got this one. Since this is already solved. So you can have a look at it and you can put it in the table. So now here they said find the principal in each of the following cases. The SI means the simple interest is given. Time and the rate. So you have to follow the same thing. The formula that is I is equal to P into R into T by 100. And we, first thing you will put the values here, the simple interest 450 given. We don't know the principal. R is five years. This is six divided by 100. So when you bring this 100 on this side, so that is going to be 450 into 100. And this will go in the denominator. After simplifying, you get 1500 that is P. You can simplify and see, you can do it by any way. So that is what they have asked for the principal. Same for this one. 
and this one both is the same so use the same formula simple interest is equal to p into r into t by 100 you will plug in the values this is not given the principal is not given this is 10 this is 16 which is given in the table you can have a look at it so when you multiply this then this will be in the denominator so after after simplifying this we get p which is 5000 same for this one you have to just put the values p is not given divided by 100 so this will be here this 4 and 12 will go in the denominator after simplifying this we get p that is 4800 so you have to just put the values over here now here again the formula is going to be the same here what did i say here rate of interest so the formula is not going to change you will keep the same formula and you will try to find out the rate because see here interest is given principal the rate of interest is not given and the time is given so here 810 given here this is 4500 for three years and the rate of interest is not given the same formula you will multiply here this you will bring or you can also do one thing you can simplify here itself here and then this thing you will bring it in the denominator you can do it as you like so here the rate of interest this is going to be that is six percentage so you have to write here six percentage pa means the per annum so here again the same you have to just put in the values and you will get the you will get r which is 5 by 2 5 by 2 means 5 divided by 2 2 2 is a 4 1 0 2 5 is a 10 because we are putting the 0 so you have to put a decimal so it is 2.5 percentage that is the rate of interest again here the same rate of interest is not given divide by 100 this you will put it here this you will bring it here so the rate of interest is 8 percent so here again 8 percent so now you will put it in this table the formula for all is i is equal to p into r into t by 100 so this you have to remember now here find the time period for each of the following the principle is given that was with the table this is without a table that's only the difference the interest is given and the rate of interest is given you have to find out t same formula i is equal to p into r into t this is given this is given this is not given divided by 100 so again here you will do the same this and this you will bring it in the denominator is equal to t after solving this we get 5 by 2 so 5 by 2 can be also written as either you write 2.5 or you can also write two and a half years so both is the same see here 2 2 is a 4 and this is 1 the remainder is 1 so 2 integers 1 by 2 so 2 integers 1 by 2 years means 2 and a half years or you can also write here 2.5 here again here this is without a table the formula is going to be the same we have to find out t so you have to just put the values t is not given divided by 100 so this you will bring it here this goes in the denominator after solving this we get three years which is t this is the same here you can do one thing this 12 and half you can write it to half means 0.5 so you can also write 12.5 sorry for, for easy calculation so here it's given here i is 40 p is 640 12.5 into t by 100 so this will get multiplied and this and this will go in the denominator so after solving this we get t that is half year is equal to t chetan opened a saving bank account with a deposit of 1,400. He closed it after two years. If the bank paid him 6% per annum, what amount did he receive? So P is given as 1,400. So T is given as two years and R is 6% per annum. So now if the, so directly we are not going to find out the amount first here. Whenever they have asked for the amount, we have to find out the interest first. So now what will you do here? 
the formula for the interest we know that is p into r into t by 100 so here p is 1 lakh 400 this is given as 6 and t as 2 divided by 100 so after solving this one when you multiply this into this into this you get 12,048 so this you got as interest so now we want amount amount is principal plus interest so what is the principal here given as 1 lakh 400 plus this is the interest so here this formula you have to remember amount is equal to principal plus interest so we get 1 lakh 12,448 a sum of rupees 5 6,500 amounts to 7,800 in four years we have to find the simple interest so now see here there are two this one so this is the principal and amounts to 7800 means this is the amount so be careful with this one so this amount is 7800 and principal is 6500 and we have what is the term that is four years and we want to find out the rate r so what will you do to find out a first what we can do we cannot find out a directly because if you are using this formula so what happens here we don't know the interest uh, this we know we don't know this one and we know term but what happens we don't know there are two unknowns so we cannot use this formula and get r so what you have to do first thing amount is equal to principal plus interest if you are doing this one we know the amount we know the principal so then one thing we don't know that that is an unknown so we can easily find out so a is equal to p plus i so once you know i then we can again take that uh, um, in the later stage we can just take this formula i is equal to p into r into t and then find out the value of r so we'll start with this one so amount is given as 7800 p is given as 6500 and this is i so this will go here that is going to be minus 6500 is equal to i when you solve this this is going to be 1300 is i so now we will take this we got i so i is equal to p into r into t by 100 so i is 1300 P is 6500 given, R is given as, that is, no, sorry, we, are, we don't know R, and T is given as 4, because we, 4, R, N, and this R is not given, divided by 100, so we can cancel this 0 and 0, so 1300 will be in the numerator, this and this will go in the 65 into 4, that will go in the denominator is R, when you solve this part, you get 5%, you can solve and see, whichever method you feel easy, you can simplify it. In how many years will rupees 7000 amount to rupees 9000 at 4% per annum? And your at 4% per, per annum that is simple interest. So here we want a number of years. So now see here 7500 amount to rupees 9000 means the principal is 7500 and amount is 9000. And this is given, R is given as 4%. And we don't know what is the how many years means t that so we again we are also will do the same a is equal to p plus i so we'll find out the interest first so amount is 9000 principal is 7500 and the interest here if you bring this here that will be minus 7500 is equal to i so when you solve this part that is going to be 1500 is i so now we will do i is equal to p into r into t by 100 so this i we can take 1500 P is 7500. This R is 4 and we don't know T divided by 100. So this and this gets cancelled. So 1500 divided by this one 75 into 4 is equal to T. So when you solve this part, you get T as 5 years. In how many years will rupees 900 yield an interest of rupees 180 at the rate of 5% per annum? So we don't know T, we don't know T. So 900 means this is the principal and the and interest of rupees 180. So interest is given as 180 and this rate whatever is given as 5%. So here now we can write this formula because we know the interest, we know the principal, we know the rate. So only if this one is unknown, so we can use this formula that is I is equal to P into R into T by 100. So I is here 180, P is 900, this is 5, and this we don't know. So divided by 100, this and this we can cut it. So what will you write here? This goes in the numerator, this 2 goes in the denominator is T. 
So when you solve this one, you get T as four years. So by this one, we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of other parts. Thank you.